Hello everyone! Good evening! My name is Mephisto and it's my great pleasure to bring to you today a game called Fury. And I played this on my PC and it's really weird, it has some odd, odd little... I'm not really sure how to describe it actually, it's just weird. But that's me! And that's a jerk! You were a weapon, a bringer of death. Ooh, that looks painful. And now, you're nothing. Oh, I'm something. I will keep on killing you. Again and again. Ow! You can stop I punching me in the your future. And eternity is slow, painful. Look ow. I hear thunder. Bitter better. Time to wake up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here with you. Seriously, this, this game is just really weird in a lot of Shake ways. Your head. Nod Whoa, your head. hello. It's time to go. See what they did to you? Pull yourself together. Get out of prison. Kill the jailer. Fight for your freedom. This game was made on Unity, by the way, and it, it actually works pretty well. Like, I'm not sure what this was supposed to be originally. The is the key. Kill him, and you'll be free. Until the end of July, this game is actually free. Um, ironic enough to say that. After hearing about killing the jailer, and we'll be free. But basically, we're in prison for an unspecified reason. I know what the reason is, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. So we're going to go fight the jailer. There are this is basically a boss rush gauntlet, a gauntlet of boss rushes. A gauntlet of bosses, let's just say that. And a lot of people have actually been hailing this as either re really good or okay. I think it's really good, but Every step you've taken Hello. Cell, I'll make you regret. I'll make your face regret. You listen to me and you listen good. You'll never escape. Whoa. Hello. That's I interesting. I'll put you right back in your cell. There's an easy way and a hard way. You choose. Yeah, let's fight. <laughs> Excellent choice. Okay, right, so this game is, like I said, it's a boss rush, basically. A, ga a boss gauntlet. But it's got really simplistic controls. You use the uh, right stick to shoot your little pistol. Whoa. They got little pistols too. And then you use square to slash. O to parry. And if I was sucking at this less, there we go. Yaw. So as you can see, the boss has a little health bar up in the top. No. The boss has a health bar up in the top right of the right hand corner of the screen. And my health bar is down in the is up in the left hand corner of the screen. So and every time I beat him, he loses one of his little one of his little health bar block things. And every time that he beats me, he can gain them back, and I lose one, and vice versa. Like if I keep shooting and I beat him, or if I keep beating him, da. Like, whenever I beat him, he loses one block, and if I'd lost one, then I gain one back. Oh. That will actually- this will actually happen on a perfect guard a lot, too, which I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that, but... A really cool thing about this is, with the exception of parry, all of your abilities can be charged. Like, you can use a better version of attack, which is what this is. Like that. Better version of dash. Whoa. Hello. And a more powerful version of your charge of your shooting. Now one of the it's really cool and really gratifying when you get one of the super parries on the enemy. Whoa, hello. And then you get to do like a really cool attack like you, that you saw me doing with um uh, <laughs> with the strong attack. This is being fun, but it's time to get 
get serious. It's really well, really looks really nice anyway. Those shocks in the cell, they really hurt. Yeah, they hurt. Don't they? Pew pew pew. Oh yeah. And this game is basically, I said I call it a boss rush, but in reality it's probably a boss rush combined with a um a bullet storm kind of game. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, a lot of people say that this game is, a lot of people have said that this game is pretty hard, but it's not so much the game, I think, so much as it is that you just have to really be watching what the enemy is doing. Because if you watch what the enemy is doing, uh oh. Uh, but if you watch what the enemy is doing, those are kind of hard, because I have to press both sticks at once and I don't have the dexterity for that. But if you watch what the enemy is doing, then you can get through all of it pretty pretty simple. And yes, your bullet shots can deflect some other bullets. Your bullets can deflect some other bullets. It mostly just depends on how you're fighting versus how the enemy's fighting. And then of course, and like you're seeing... Oh, no. Whenever you're in the far away phase of a fight, the enemy will shoot things. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's the perfect guard. You're gonna run back to your cell and beg me to lock you up again. I don't think I am, thanks. I don't know if you actually get more health back when you do a perfect guard. It kind of seems like you do, but... Those little green things, and those little green things, as you can see, are basically additional health from shooting at the enemy's shots. You can always tell when... Whoa. Ow. You can always tell what they are because they're always green. Yeah, let's do this. No Ow. Way. See what I mean there? Like, if you watch what your enemy is doing, you can pretty much... This game's actually pretty friggin' easy if you know what they're doing. And that's always really gratifying to get that nice big attack on them. Oh, oh. So every time you block one of his attacks, like you see, like that, like that, he gives you a little bit more health back. You can also reflect bullets back, by the way. It's just a little bit harder to really... You can't really damage them with the bullet drop. I don't want to know what this guy is. I'm guessing he's supposed to be an... Like, resemble an Osura, but... And so basically, this method, or this mode, is more to test your, uh... <laughs> your bullet... Your bullet dodging, your bullet movement, all that kind of crap. While... The other one is more meant to be an actual duel. But overall, this game is mostly about watching what an enemy does and responding to it appropriately. Like that. Which is, again, not me I'm not meaning to do. I'm gonna smash you to pieces. No regen for this. Oh crap! No <laughs> Hadn't seen that before. Pew, pew, pew. Whoa! Pew, 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 pew. And that little circle only appears underneath them when you're able to go into melee with them. And so, of course, it basically is just this little kind of cat and mouse game almost of who's going to hit who now. There's, there are some really cool things about this game. I love the enemy design of each of them. It was actually the guy who made Afro Samurai. Oh, and here's the special thing. Whenever you beat a boss, or get a boss down to their last bar health, yeah, I know, there's no need to defeat me, then they do Ultimate Bullet Storm Mode. 
They go down to they go down to one end of the screen, and you literally cannot damage them with anything. You basically just have to get through the bullet storm. And on some of those, oh man, it can be actually on pretty much all of them, it's really challenging. But that's one of my favorite parts about this. Ow. That's one of my favorite parts about this game is just the fact that it's kind of challenging with its bullet storminess and its boss rushiness. Ah oh, crap! Here's the here's the bad ones. Yeah, I can see eventually he starts doing like that, and so you kind of want to just be ready to evade from side to side. Uh, boss rush and the bullet storm. This is just crazy. So crazy, it's flipping awesome. Oop. Yeah, God, yeah. But all right. And then they usually have a ranged and they usually have a ranged and melee final form. The entire point of the of the la of the melee final form is, of course, to dodge until they are until they are vulnerable. Whoa! Hello. Whoa! Whoa. Ow! Whoa! Yeah. See, usually it takes not much. It doesn't take much to beat them. Ooh, cool. Let's brawl. You're beaten down, son. That's right. You dead. You dead, boy. All this is kind of based around machines, too, by the way. Hmm. That graphics clip. You've been disarmed. You will be broken. You will go back to yourself. I don't think I'm going to listen to you anymore. I'm pretty sure you're dead now. Yep, I win. Bravo. Excellent. What a thrill. Not your first time, right? Anyway. The good news, we're one step closer to freedom. The bad news, there's more out there waiting for us. But don't worry, I know them. I can help. Believe me, what's waiting at the end of all this is so worth the trouble. <laughs> he kind of seems like a bad guy, doesn't he? We're in the same boat now. Now let's get the hell out of here. He seems like a bit of a bad guy. He could be considered one, honestly. But that is all the time that I have for this first episode of Fury. I'm going to be doing more episodes this week. It's a really fun game. I hope you guys enjoy... Okay, you're going to talk some more. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. It's okay, it's okay. You're, you're cool, Mr. Bunny Man. you know what? We're going to get there. Anyway. Thank you for watching this episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button, leave a comment, share this to friends, family, gamers, anyone else, and if you're not already, consider hitting the subscribe button to stay up to date on all the fun games I'll be doing in the future. Because boy, have I got a million of them. Anyway, I've been Mephisto, this has been Fury, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!